Greetings all, Shane Bruce, Rest of my Daisy, and I'd like to introduce you to the newest member of the Ramuda here at uh, Rest of my. This is a Daisy model, or excuse me, Daisy number 101, model 36, as you can see on the roll stamp there. It's an ancient Daisy. This guy is probably a 36, 37 because it's got the dual roll stamps and a cast iron lever. As you can see, it's had better days and times, but you know what? It's not a bad looking gun overall. Let's take a look at the buttstock real quick. I think we can assume that Robert Kinney was the original owner because he went so far as to engrave his initials and name into the buttstock of his gun. But, wait a minute, that's not all Robert was good at. He also liked working with paint. Check out the RK on the top of the wrist. Pretty sharp. Not bad at all. Now, the gun's had some issues in life. Uh, it's got a thoroughly cracked wrist with about so one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven pins put through it to try to hold on to it. Didn't work out. Uh, I got the gun off eBay. It was advertised as a parts repairable piece, and it certainly is that. But it does not fire. Uh, BB will roll out of the end of the muzzle, but that's about it. Now, the uh, 101 is a single shot daisy. Now, let me pull this air tube out. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. You'll notice that on the top of the gun, up here by the front side, unlike this 102, there's no hole. So you can't drop BBs in there. It isn't a 500 shot repeater. The 101 was built as a single shot daisy. Now we've had other 101s in the shop that we've repaired for people, but they went back home. And that's an example of what the shot tube looks like. You'll notice there's no feed down here. There's no way to get a BB inside the side of this tube. The tube has got a fair gap on it. We'll see what we can do about that in order to tighten that up and prevent air loss. But it is a genuine muzzle-loading single-shot BB gun. It's got a cast iron lever. That makes it an early 30s production gun and a low pivot location on the lever, which also indicates early production gun. Now, I thought this was kind of interesting. You'll notice that they're both daisies. Uh, the one below, one on the bottom is a model 102, number 102, model 36, made in Plymouth. Um, the one above, of course, is a model 101, or number 101, model 36, also made in Plymouth. Now, what I think I wanted to point out to you was the fact that these guns both have twin daisy roll stamps. We have the old iconic daisy logo with the print that they used in the early guns, and then we have the more modern uh, type style here that is associated with the Plymouth facility. And uh, they both have the Daisy Daisy on them. You don't see that in other models. Now, the 102 has got a registration number and our register number, and the 101 does not. So the 101 is an earlier version of this gun. And then let's take a look at the third piece, which is kind of interesting. This is a Daisy from Rogers, Arkansas, and they dropped the number off the front, and it's just called a Model 102. Uh, Model 36 is no longer present on the gun, even though the uh, in innards of the gun are identical. So, we've got it in. We're going to look at doing something to it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I want to do some sort of Buzz Barton style scope on it. And, you know, when I use the word scope in Daisy, it's, it's eh, suggestive, but there's no optics. The uh, Buzz Barton had a tube sight on the front and a shorter tube sight down in the rear. And I think that would look kind of cool on this piece. Uh, it will involve replacing the uh, spring anchor with a mount for the tube so you can look down your scope. But uh, had pretty good success with the Model 300 Daisy Scope on a 11140. And I'm curious to see if that will translate well to the uh, earlier smaller frame gun. So, once again, welcome to the newest member of the Resto Mod Remuda, our very own Daisy Number 101 Model 36. And I'm going to look forward to taking this rascal apart, fixing the problems we have with the stock, and seeing if we can gin up a Resto Mod Buzz Barton style scope. That's all we've got for you today, kids. This is Shane Bruce with Resto Mod Daisy, signing off.